Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we are going to do a little repot of this uh, little chlorophytum. Uh, this is a chlorophytum orchidastrum, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, this one I believe when I bought it the variety name was Fireflash. And um, it's in the spider plant family and uh, this one does not produce spiders or, or little offsets like that. Uh, this one is a prolific seeder. So it will flower really, really close to the stem and, uh, and lots of little seeds and then you'll get all kinds of little babies uh, like these guys. Um, the plant, I had bought this plant a long, long time ago. I'm going to say probably about 10 years ago. And um, the plant itself died. I didn't have really good light. This was back a couple of homes ago when I lived in a condo and I had one window and uh, it wasn't a good window there was like a balcony above and it there was a big like staircase so you really didn't get much light at all so I thought a chlorophytum would uh, again in the spider plant family they they do okay in low light high light whatever light you got so this one didn't like it uh, I have a feeling because it's not the actual spider plant that that might be why it didn't do as well in a low low light spot this one will like bright indirect light so um, I, it, it should it should have done okay. Maybe I overwatered it, maybe I underwatered it, I'm not sure. But anyway, I, um, I have all kinds of babies from, from, well, this is the only pot I have now. Uh, and I started growing these, I don't know, probably six years ago, uh, maybe even a little longer, seven years ago. And uh, this is as big as it's gotten. These have been very, very slow and neglected, mostly slow. And now they're starting to turn into a cute little plant. They have been on my grow shelves for quite some time. And they've just moved wherever I went. And I thought I'd take it out of its pot. This pot is the pot it's been in forever. Uh, I have not transplanted it at all. I'm sure the soil is in need of a refresh. And that could also be why it's not growing so much. That and it's been kept very dry. Um, maybe it likes it more dry. Because it, I've noticed over the last uh, year it started to gain some size. So I should, I should recognize that and, uh, and hopefully learn from that. So anyway, underneath here, there's all kinds of dead leaves. So we're going to clean it up. Uh, we're going to give it a look-see. We're going to take it out of its small little three-inch pot. I think that's what it is, maybe a two-inch pot. We're going to put it in a little four-inch pot. And uh, we're going to have this cute little uh, copper um, pot cover. I'm going to bring it upstairs and I'm going to put it in uh, in a window where it gets some actual sunlight. Uh, so hopefully I don't kill it by moving it out of its spot because I didn't like it before when, when it was an adult plant. Well not this one but the original one. But we'll see. We'll play around and uh, yeah I thought I'd bring you along because I haven't seen this plant or looked at this plant in a very long time and I thought maybe you'd like to see it. Yes. So anyway let's get to it. I've got some all-purpose soil over here. This is a peat-based soil with lots of perlite. This one is um, a pro mix and it is high porosity so that means it's got a lot of uh, perlite in it for, for aeration and drainage. But it is also a moisture re retentive mix because it's mostly peat moss. Uh, in my area peat moss is very plentiful. In some areas it's not so much. So maybe a coconut coir or whatever you got um, to, to use. As a, as a soil base, but uh, yeah, this is what I have. So let's unpot this little guy. Ooh, look at the little roots. It's probably going to really enjoy having its roots in a, in a bigger space. Uh, as you can see, it is in the chlorophytum family, the spider plant family, so it has these, these uh, water storage roots. I'm not a, uh, sure if you're able to see these, but they're, um, they're kind of hefty little, uh, little bulbs down in there. And they, they just store a lot of water, so they can go through times of drought. And maybe maybe I was overwatering it. Let me grab some scissors here. I just want to clean up all of these little dead leaves. I don't want to pull them off because I could end up damaging the plant. So I'm just going to trim them and just make the plant look a little prettier. Let's try to pull one. Nah, see there. Ah, I suppose I can. I know that I, I have had uh, a problem with mealybugs, so as I'm doing this, I'm going to be inspecting the plant. I want to make sure that there's no insects uh, coming along for the ride. Make sure there's no scale insect or, uh, or mealybug or anything else. There we 
go. Lots and lots and lots of dead leaves here. Here's a small little... Oh, I killed that one. Oh well. I've got enough here. As it grows, it will produce all kinds of little uh, uh, flowers and then it will set seed and do its thing and it will be fantastic. I do want more of these. I really like these. I saw them in the store not long ago and I thought to myself, oh, I should buy one. And then I thought to myself again, Bill, why would you buy something you already have? <laughs> so I'm just going to play with the root system a little bit. I want to try to get rid of as much of the old soil as I can because it's been in there for quite some time. I don't want to damage too many of the roots. I just also want to stop the roots from from uh, spinning around. Here we go. Yeah, this soil is uh, is really broken down. Feels quite sandy, but it was never a sandy soil. But the roots seem to look pretty good. They're they're nice and white. They've got a good color. There you can see the the little uh, storage devices here. Little bulbs are doing nicely. So they must really like the the new watering schedule that I have <laughs> of of not watering very often. All right. So that's all that I'm going to do to pull it apart. There's still some soil left on there. That's okay. And now I'm going to take my little pot. I'm going to add some soil to the bottom of this pot. Normally I put a piece of paper towel in the bottom just to, to stop uh, the soil from going out the bottom. But today I'm not going to bother. I'm going to take a little bit out of there. What I'm noticing, I don't know whether you're able to see, I'm noticing that uh, the roots kind of go all the way up to here. So I want to bury this a little deeper than it was before. So I just took some soil out. We're going to pop it in. Are you able to see that it's it's going to be much shallower than than it was originally? And I wish I had a smaller scoop for my soil. Oh, I do right here. It's a, it's a smaller little pot. I'm just going to fill it up around the plant, I'm trying to get the plant centered in there as best I can. I'm never really good at that. I'm just poking um, the soil down with my fingers. I want it to be firm yet still like I'm not hard as a rock. I want to want to get rid of any air pockets. It's funny plants need airflow to the roots but they uh, they don't like air pockets. It's kind of an oxymoron. Air pockets will actually kill a root but they want good oxygen flow. All right. So there we go. Let me lift up the side here. Are you able to see this? So now uh, the orange, where it starts to get orange, that's where um, I've, I've put the soil level up to. And then down below it's, it's more lighter color uh, that look more like a root development. So this should be perfect. Now I'm going to water this in well. I don't have any water here on camera, but I'm just going to water it in well and let it drain and then I'm going to put it in this uh, this little pot cover and it's going to look adorable. I think the gold's going to really show off the, the orange of the plant. If you haven't seen this plant uh, full grown, I would Google it. Maybe I'll put a, a photo at the end of the video so you'll be able to see. Uh, but they're pretty outstanding. They don't get huge. Again, they flower prolifically. Not really any flowers that you're going to see. They're going to... Um, they're, they're like small little uh, groups of flowers and they're right up close to the plant so you're really never going to see it. You're, you're going to see all kinds of little babies growing around the sides. It's really interesting but the, the, the real uh, entertainment about this plant is, is the beautiful colors. It's, uh, it's quite stunning. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't seen one of these, uh, these plants before, the um, Chlorophytum Fire Flash, this one is, uh, I recommend uh, checking it out. And uh, if you find it, pick it up. It's, uh, it's supposed to be a, a low-care plant. Well, it is low-care. The more I neglect it, the better it grows. Um, hopefully this time uh, next year the plant will be much bigger. It should be at least double this size. It should be about uh, 
maybe 12 inches across and the leaves it's each leaf should be about uh, I don't know 8 to 10 inches long and about uh, 2 to 3 inches wide uh, but yeah anyway again I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, show me what you're growing uh, post things to the plants and things what's growing Facebook page and uh, I'd love to see them and if you have a fire flash or uh, uh, chlorophytum of this nature maybe not a fire flash but something that looks similar I'd love to see it I want to see how you're growing it give me your tricks and tips that you've found over the years works for you and uh, maybe I'm doing something completely wrong so anyway until next time you guys happy growing